looking to try something new and exciting this season, consider a new sport, scuba diving. It's something that you'll never forget. We went down to Southwick for a lesson. So we're here with Matthew. Matthew, you're going to teach us all things scuba diving today. But first, let's talk about that feeling. Why do people love scuba diving? It's such an out of this world experience. I mean, when you're underwater, you're free floating. It's like you're in out, outer space. Um, you can stand on your head, you can flip, you can turn, you can lay back and look up and you know, you can break dance underwater. <laughs> Everybody loves getting in the water and going swimming, but scuba is, is a different experience and you also need some certifications for it. That is correct. Um, usually you people start off with an experience to see if they like it and then they'll jump into a full certification class. Now today we're in the pool, we're going to do a lot of training in the pool, but where else around Western Mass can people go for some diving? Well, a lot of people head out to the ocean, you know, up to Rockport, Gloucester, some people head down to Rhode Island. Um, I tend to like Gloucester and Rockport, you can get lobsters um, if you're lucky. And when people are doing their checkout dives too, there, there's some lakes and ponds around here that people could maybe try their hands at too. Yeah, we do a lot, of, we do some uh, pond in Ludlow, uh, Havlin Pond, um, Russell Pond and Russell Mass and um, West Hill Lake in New Hartford, Connecticut. Now the gear, the gear is the tricky part. There's a lot of gear that goes into the sport. Why don't we start with the tank? Yeah. Scuba tanks, this is an aluminum scuba tank. Um, holds about 3,000 pounds per square inch of uh, pressure. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of breathing air in here. Yeah, 63 cubic feet. Wow, you can do that for a while. And these things are pretty heavy. Yes, out of the water, they're about 35 pounds in the water. You can lift them up with your pinky. Now the next thing that people need is, this is a, called a BC and it gets attached to this. Yeah, it's a buoyancy compensator device. It, it allows you to get neutrally buoyant when you're underwater, so you're not sinking or, or floating, or positively buoyant when you're at the surface. Um, with weight, if we're wearing a neoprene wetsuit, uh, you know, it adds more buoyancy and we have to wear some lead to help us get down. Now, attached to the tank, there needs to be a way to breathe. So what's the device that helps us breathe? This is a, a regulator right here. This attaches to the tank. Mm -hmm. And one side you have a pressure gauge tells you how much air is in the tank. And then you have two regulators on this side. This is what you actually breathe from. One is for you and one is called a safety second, uh, an octo. So if somebody runs out of air underwater, you can help them out to make a safe ascent. And then the rest of the things that people use, uh, I think we're a little bit more familiar with. It's the mask, the fins, the snorkel. Correct. And with the mask, the mask is probably one of the most important pieces of equipment. You always want to make sure that it fits properly. Uh, when we try on masks, I usually try it on without the strap. I suck it through my nose, make sure I can get a, a good seal there. Now, uh, and it doesn't have to be on super tight so you don't get this red. <laughs> no one likes the mark. raccoon mask. Yes, smart. exactly. So we're going to hit the water today. We're going to go in and then we're going to demonstrate some behaviors and, and some skills that divers need to know when they're just starting out. So what are some of the things that we're going to learn today? Well, the first thing we'll do is we'll do a buoyancy check. Make sure that you can get underwater and you can stay down there comfortably. Um, after that, we'll practice what we call bubble blowing. You know, taking our regulator out of our mouth, blowing bubbles, putting the regulator back in and purging it. And so you can take another breath in. And, and a lot of the training involves emergency situations because when you're underwater, you need to be prepared. So we're gonna do things in case the regulator falls out of your mouth, things like that. Correct. And don't go anywhere because later on Mass Appeal, we're getting in the water and getting wet. Earlier in the show, we taught you all about how to scuba dive, but now let's take a look at us getting in the water. It's all about safety and protocol in scuba diving. So we attach the buoyancy control device, the BC, and that helps us connect to our tank and it helps us float on the surface of the water. Then we added our regulator. This helps us inflate our BCD and it's the air that we use to breathe with. After we were all geared up, Matthew helped us put it all together. We put on our flippers and our masks, and then we went on an underwater adventure. Once we got relaxed and acclimated in the water, Matthew took us on a few drills. The first thing that we did was practice our fin kicks. The proper kick, a lot of times you want to kick slow. It's kind of you're pushing down with your toes and you're pulling up with it. Uh, you don't want to bend your knees lot, you don't want to do a bicycle kick, and you don't want to have the slicing fins through the water. The better your kicking skills are underwater, the more seamlessly you can enjoy your time under the sea, or in this case, the pool. 
we practiced a number of drills, one of which was the shared ascent. We simulated one of us being out of air and the other person giving us our backup regulator and bringing us to the top safely. We also practiced blowing bubbles while taking the regulator off and we paused to smile for the camera. It wasn't just drills though, we also had some fun in the water too. We tossed around an underwater frisbee and a torpedo, played a little pass. There's just something that feels right about being underwater. Now I've done a lot of things here on Mass Appeal. I've jumped out of planes, I've gone whitewater rafting, but there's nothing more serene than escaping the land and going scuba diving under the water. That feeling of taking slow, deliberate breaths and hearing almost nothing except for your own exhalations and the bubbles going to the surface is one of the most relaxing meditative experiences around. So you don't have to go to Hawaii, you don't need to move to the Caribbean or Florida to enjoy scuba diving. You can do it right here in Western Massachusetts.